This video is brought to you by JLC PCB. In today's episode, you will learn how to use Blink 2.0 with Node MCU ESP8266 Wi-Fi module for monitoring temperature and LPG case using DS18B20 one wire digital temperature sensor and MQ9 LPG case sensor. I have already uploaded a getting started video on Blink 2.0 and ESP32 Wi-Fi plus Bluetooth module. And in that video, I have explained why you guys need to migrate from Blink 1.0 to Blink 2.0. That video is for the absolute beginners having no prior knowledge of Blink Cloud Dashboard and Blink Mobile App. So if you are just getting started with the new Blink V2.0, then I highly recommend you should watch my previous video. I will provide a link in the description. Anyway, previously I used ESP32 and Blink V2.0 for controlling an LED and for monitoring a potentiometer. As this was a getting started video, so my main focus was on to explain how to set up the Blink Cloud dashboard and how to set up the Blink mobile app. So I just used an LED as a device and a potentiometer as the analog sensor. Trust me as a beginner, an LED and a potentiometer are more than enough once you learn how to establish two-way communication between the Blink 2.0 and the Wi-Fi controller board like ESP8266 and ESP32, then you can control any output device and of course you will be able to monitor any type of analog or digital sensor. In today's video, I'm going to use Node MCU ESP8266 Wi-Fi module with Blink 2.0 and since I previously explained the most basic things, so this time I decided to use some real sensors, the DS18B20 and MQ9K sensor. So before I'm going to explain how to set up the Blink Cloud dashboard and Blink mobile app for the ESP8266, first I'm going to share with you the final test results and afterward I will explain everything else. This video is sponsored by JLC PCB. Feel free to visit their website jlcpcb.com slash scale to not only find out what awesome PCB and assembly services they offer but also to easily upload your Gerber files. It automatically detects the number of layers and dimensions. Select the number of PCBs you want to order. Select your favorite PCB color. The price is automatically updated as you select different features. Finally, you can click on the Save to Cart button. You will only need to pay $2 for 1-4 to four layers PCBs and $0 for your PCB assembly. Besides this, JLC PCB also offers industrial 3D printing services starting at only $1. You can start by clicking on the first link in the description. I have connected the DS18B20 temperature sensor and MQ9 LPG case sensor as per the circuit diagram which I will explain in a minute. Right now, my Node MCU ESP8266 development board is connected with the Wi-Fi. Now, using my cell phone, I can monitor the temperature sensor and LPG gauge sensor from any part of the world, provided if the internet connection is available.
I can also monitor both sensors using my design dashboard on the Blink.Cloud. I'm sure by now you might have got an idea of how does this system work. So without any further delay, let's get started. The components and tools used in this project can be purchased from Amazon. The components purchase links are given in the description. The VCC and ground pins of the MQ9 LPG gauge sensor and the DS18B20 one-wire digital temperature sensor are connected with the Node MCU ESP8266 5-pan module 3.3 volt and ground pins, while the analog output pin of the MQ9 gauge sensor is connected with the S0 pin of the Node MCU module, and the data wire of the DS18B20 is connected with the D4 pin of the Node MCU module. On the left side is the regulated 5 volt power supply based on the LM7805 volt regulator. If you are planning to power up your Node MCU ESP8266 Wi-Fi module using a laptop or PC then there is no need for this power supply. But if you want to externally power up your project using a 12 volt adopter or a 12 volt battery or a solar panel then you will need this 5 volt power supply. These are the PCB ports I received from the JLC PCB. As you can see, the quality is really great. The silk screen is quite clear and the Blake solder mask looks amazing. This is how my Node MCU ESP8266 development board looks after soldering all the components. I will use this development board for testing all my ESP8266 based projects. Anyway, I connected the DS18B20 and MQ9 gauge sensor is for the circuit diagram and now let's start with the blink. In my previous video I have already explained how to register a free account so just sign in and while the templates are selected simply click on the new template. All the steps are exactly the same the only change is that this time I'm using ESP8266 instead of ESP32.
the dashboard is ready and now we have to use the template ID, device name and authorization token in the programming the same way as I explained in my previous video. Copy the template ID and paste it next to the Blink template ID. Repeat the same steps for the device name and authorization token. You can download this entire project code from our website electronicclinic.com. I will provide a link in the description. Finally, you can click on the upload button. You will also need to install ESP8266 Wi-Fi dot H, Wi-Fi client dot H, Link Simple ESP8266 dot H, One Wire dot H, and the Last Temperature dot H libraries. For this, you can watch my getting started videos on the Node MCU ESP8266 Wi-Fi module and DS18 V20. Using these steps, you can migrate all your Blink 1.0 projects to Blink 2.0. Anyway, once the code is uploaded, go back to your Blink.Cloud dashboard and you should be able to see the temperature and gauge values on the gauges. You can see a rise in the temperature as I am holding the temperature sensor in my hand. You can also see a change in the gauge sensor value as it's detecting gauge leakage from the lighter. Now let's start with the Blink IoT mobile app. The Blink IoT app mobile setup is also exactly the same as explained in my previous tutorial. My Blink mobile app is ready and now let's watch the Blink 2.0 and ESP8266 Wi-Fi module based temperature and gaze monitoring system in action.
support me on Patreon for more videos. I hope you like today's episode. Like and share this video with your friends. See you in next episode. And thanks for watching.